Welcome back. My name is Lefty, and as you can tell by the title, this lesson I'm going to cover a few things we can control as bettors that will absolutely improve your overall sports betting success. With sports betting, there's a lot of things that are just simply out of our control, uh, so we want to be perfect in the things we can control. No matter your experience level or what your goals are in sports betting, these few factors are something you should practice regularly. Uh, the first one is line shopping. I can't stress the importance of this practice. Just doing this alone will 100% improve your overall sports betting. Uh, what's great is line shopping is something we can all do. Uh, so what exactly is line shopping? Uh, it's just what it sounds like. You want to shop around for the best possible price, point spread or total, whatever it is. In order to do this, you'll need different sports book options. And now this doesn't mean you need to have thousands of dollars in every available sports book account. Um, you know, you just want the options to compare lines at. Now, as you can see, on the screen here, not all sports books have the same lines. Uh, in this game there at the top between the New Orleans Saints, New York Jets, uh, you can see the spread is anywhere from four and a half to six. Um, and now if you're looking to bet the Jets, you'd want plus six, obviously. And if you're looking to bet the Saints, you'd want the minus four and a half. Uh, the absolutely worst process or uh, thought process, I should say, um, that you could have is, oh, it's only one point or it's only a half a point. It don't matter. Uh, you know, it won't matter every time, uh, you know, but the idea is over a long period of time that the difference will matter. Uh, and the handful of times that, you know, getting the best number will turn, you know, losses into pushes or a push into a win. Uh, the example here at the bottom there, the college basketball game between UL Lafayette versus Louisiana Tech. Uh, this is just one example. There's a bunch of these just like this on any given day in all sports. La Tech, they won by nine. And, you know, it doesn't matter which team you bet. Um, on this game, you would have won if you got the best possible number. Uh, you know, getting the best possible number, regardless of who you bet on, uh, is basically taking advantage of the market efficiency. If we believe uh, that the lines the odds makers set are strong, uh, then there's a good chance the final score is going to end around that number. And, you know, we want to be on the right side of that number. The importance of this is magnified around the key numbers. Um, and we'll cover sport specific key numbers in a future video. But the next thing uh, we can control as bettors that will absolutely help improve our sports betting is just simply tracking your bets. Uh, there's a bunch of different bet tracking apps. Uh, I use some of them. Uh, and I also think there's benefits um, to manually tracking your bets. And, um, you know, if we're using a bet tracking app, uh, you want to review your bets. We have a tendency as bettors to assume we're doing better than we actually are. You know, having all your bets on a spreadsheet uh, that you update daily uh, makes it real. You know, um, you can see your progress, where you stand, and uh, where your bankroll is at. For me, it also helps me keep my betting in check uh, as far as volume goes and, you know, which days I seem to be betting more. And, um, you know, if I notice on like a Thursday I'm betting more, I want to know why that is uh, and does it make sense. Um, you know, the more detailed uh, columns you have, the better. Um, you know, I like to track what I bet a game at as far as numbers or price goes, and then, you know, what number that price uh, or game closed at. Um, then you can kind of see if you're winning more on games that have closing line value or if not. Uh, and we'll have a lesson specifically dedicated to uh, CLV or what's closing line value and that importance of it uh, in a future video. Um, but again, manually tracking your bets. Uh, it also allows to see, like, where your strengths and weaknesses are. You know, if you notice your win rate, on over-unders is higher than, you know, sides, uh, then it makes sense to focus more on betting over-unders. But uh, not only with the bet type, but actually like with the sport. And this can kind of lead into our next factor that we can control as bettors. And it's simply your approach to betting. Uh, you need to establish how much time you have to dedicate to sports betting in general and uh, also which sport you want to focus on and then, you know, which bet type in that sport. Uh, this, of course, is just assuming your goal is to actually win money betting sports. Uh, you know, if you're betting for entertainment, then bet any sport you want or whatever game you're watching. But I can pretty much tell you with almost certainty, um, unless you're working with a team or a sports betting syndicate or group, there's no way you can bet every game in all, ma I mean, every sport in all major sports and still be successful. Uh, there's simply just not enough time. Uh, to do the work that's required to be successful when juggling like all the different major sports at once. Uh, you know, there's baseball pros that I know that make a living betting baseball. And, uh, you know, they don't just bet baseball when the season is over or, you know, during the season. When the season's over, their work continues. Um, you know, just because the season ends, it doesn't mean that 
you know, um, they stop, you know, the work continues and that's really how much it takes to actually be successful betting sports. So your approach is important, you know, which sport you decide to focus on and which bet type within that sport, there just simply is not enough time to do all the work that's required to be successful in all sports. Um, so yeah, there you have it. There's three very easy things we can all do as betters that will absolutely improve your overall betting success. So until next time, good luck with all your betting.